Now, 26-year-old Afsana Hamidi was an aspiring international scholar coming to Britain to study and hoping to build a better Afghanistan at home. Then, out of nowhere, Western support disappeared and the Taliban were back. Overnight, she saw the Taliban flooding the streets and her country of Afghanistan change. She knew she had to get out. She's now able to talk to us because she managed to escape and is now in quarantine in a hotel near Birmingham. And I'm delighted that Afsana can join us. Hello, Afsana. Hello and good evening. Thanks for having me in this show. Um, thank you very much for joining us and congratulations on making it to the UK. Can I ask you how you're feeling physically? How's your health? Uh, fortunately, I'm completely well physically, but uh, mentally a little bit destroyed and stressed. But I think it's something normal and it takes time to get well completely. Uh, when did you leave Afghanistan? Uh, I leave on 24 August and arrived in the UK on 25th August, um, almost 10 to uh, in the morning. Yeah, so you, you left on, on, on Tuesday morning. How did you get away? Uh, well, so usually uh, we receive an email from FCD office and got the direction to go to the uh, uh, Baroon Gate and all the scholars um, uh, get in the gate from the Baroon Gates, but I have been evacuated by one of European organizations uh, because they negotiated your access with the Taliban and um, we get into the gate by car, so for me it was easier to use um, uh, that uh, to go with that organization rather than going alone uh, and passing the gate. Mm. Uh, so after I got to the airport, then uh, I went to the UK um, camp because each country has different camp. Uh, and after that, I took a UK flight to Dubai. First, we came to, uh, to Dubai by military flight. And from Dubai to UK, it was commercial flight. And did you fear for your safety at any point? Uh, yes, every second, every minute, we were, um, the time I left home, um, so uh, every minute I was scared of my life and I, I couldn't even imagine that I may be able to pass the gate and leave the country. And especially the last hours before flight, it was uh, really hard because um, uh, they asked us to go to a shelter in the airport and because there was a delay in the flight. And that time I thought, so there's, there might be a security concern, that why, uh, that's why they asked us to go to the shelter. And for, a, for an hour I was waiting in the shelter, so every minute I was thinking that, okay, they will enter and they will fire on us, so they will call us. Uh, and, and I may not be able to leave, even when I uh, landed at Dubai. So that time it was a uh, really situation that I thought that, OK, finally I'm, I'm out. Because even when I was in the plane at the Kabul airport, I was thinking that it may not happen. Afsana, tell me what the situation was before you left. I understand that you were stopped by the Taliban at one point. Uh, yes, uh, so the day, uh, the beginning days when uh, the evacuation started, the gates were not, the, the streets were not blocked by the Taliban, so they let people to go. But um, since the start of last week, uh, so the Taliban started to block the road which lead to the airport and also the military gates. And the day that I left, um, so the street were blocked by the Taliban and they did not let our car to, um, to go to uh, the airport, but uh, we almost waited for two or three hours on the street until the organization negotiated with the Taliban and they got access. So after that, um, they let us to to pass the gate or to, to go to the airport. Afsana, 
Did you leave people behind, friends or loved ones? Yes, um, my family is not in Afghanistan, but uh, I left my friends, which are uh, my second families, uh, behind, unfortunately. Have you spoken to them since you arrived in Britain? Yeah, so fortunately we have internet connections so far in the country and I'm in contact with them daily. And I talk to all of them today, so um, they're not good, I can say. Especially the women who, who are the one who support the family financially. And um, now when they lost their job, so it's really a hard time for, for them. Afsana, I, I can see your emotions and I completely understand. And uh, it's the most awful situation. The friends that are still there, do they want to leave Afghanistan? Yeah, of course. And so, uh, considering the situation, especially for all women and men who are living in Kabul, because the situation is worse in Kabul, its capital, and also in, in, in big cities like Mazar, Herat, Kandar, and all men or women who, who are uh, who used to work with the international organization, uh, they are willing. So they are just waiting for a miracle to happen and leave the country because it's uh, living under Taliban authority. So you may not imagine it, but th those people who left before, so it's uh, unbearable. You prefer to die and instead of living in a, such a country when Taliban um, has no authority. Um, I can interrupt this conversation, Afsana, with the news that the last American flight out of Afghanistan, the last evacuation flight, has left Afghanistan. That's official. We're receiving that information on the news wires that the final US plane has left Afghanistan. Can I ask you, Afsana, about your emotions when you landed in the UK? Um, it, it was really good emotions. So somehow I feel a little relaxed and somehow I, I feel a little hopeful because um, I came as a chivina uh, and it, it feels good because I have... Uh, Work for this scholarship for two years, and um, from the 6th August that the, the, we received an email from the Kabul MBC that the scholarship is paused for this year. From the 6th August, we fought the whole Chivinas this year's cohort fought for for this scholarship to resume it. So it was really good, but a good situation. Good, I had good feeling, but main time. Uh, I have the feeling of punishment because when thinking about all those people who I'm left behind and when thinking about my country situation, especially when I sign my passport, the uh, Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, a name which does not exist anymore. Um, so it's annoying. Finally, Afsana, and I'm so grateful that you've taken the time to talk to us and I know how difficult and painful it is for you to think about all of these awful things that your friends in Afghanistan are now having to deal with. What about your future? Do you plan to stay in the UK and how do you feel about, about your future and what you're going to do? Uh, actually, uh, I did not receive a student visa, so it's only a stamp that allows us to stay for six months in the UK. So I really don't have any idea about my legal status and uh, will I be able to stay in the UK? But uh, I'm hopeful for the at least for the next uh, one year because I will be a student. So I, um, somehow my life has its uh, its road uh, for the next year. But after that, so I cannot say anything right now because um, honestly I have not planned and I have not things. I don't have any idea how life will be in the UK, what's your rule regulation for the refugee and what's the decision uh, of the, your government um, uh, for us. So that's why just I'm, I'm hopeful, I'm happy for the next one year. So after that, I really don't have any idea.
Afsana, I'm very grateful that you've told my viewers your story. It's a very important one, and, and we wish you well in the weeks and months ahead. And I hope that your status in this country is, is also um, clarified and resolved very soon indeed. Um, take care, and thank you for joining us on GB. Thanks, Steve, for having me. Thanks. Afsana Hamadi there, evacuated from Afghanistan. She arrived on Wednesday. She's been here less than a week and um, is very, very worried about the future for her friends still in Afghanistan. And I'll reiterate that uh, developing story that the final U.S. plane taking evacuees out of Afghanistan has, has left. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.